Well, we wouldn't have got where we are today without standing on the shoulders of giants, as they say. And I think it's interesting that there is this interest in um, former processes, and um, it shows that we're not really so very different from the Victorians as you might think. I'm Dr Alison Morrison-Lowe, and I'm Principal Curator of Science, National Museum of Scotland. The exhibition shows uh, the whole gamut of photography from the very beginnings to um, when photography really reaches everybody. I just find it extraordinary being able to, to look into the past and these people have been dead for a very, very long time and yet they are as fresh and as immediate as you are to me at the moment. I, I think that is quite extraordinary. Oh, we have quite a lot of places where Edinburgh touches the, the mainstream story of, of photography. There was a daguerreotypist called James Howie who um, had his studio in Princess Street and in order to have your daguerreotype taken you had to climb three stories and then up a ladder onto the roof. And Amazingly, there is um, an engraving of um, Princess Street from the top of the Scott Monument, which had been more or less just com completed at that point. And it shows Mr. Howie's studio on the rooftop. We show uh, one of George Washington Wilson's so-called instantaneous photographs. Uh, and this shows um, gunfire, cannon gunfire from um, a ship out in Southampton water and um, he managed to take the photograph just as the gun fired. The difference, of course, is that in, in uh, 100 years ago is that people would take the photographs, they would print them out, they would become an artefact. Whereas, I bet you took a whole lot of photographs yesterday and you haven't really done more than flick through them on your, um, your computer screen and will you ever print them out? Will you ever do anything more with them? I mean, I think a lot of our photographs today will be lost because we don't do what the Victorians did, which was to print them out. We do also, for instance, um, we, ha we have got um, prints, we've, we've printed out examples of the stereo photo photograph and we've put them into modern viewers so that you can actually try looking at three-dimensional photographs for yourself and then they usually go, oh wow, and it's the wow moment that I want people to experience when they come around this exhibition. Are you looking forward to opening? Oh yes.